Hello fellow travelers, welcome back to our channel. Get ready to immerse yourself in the luxury, nature, and the vibrant culture of Mexico. Our adventure begins at the magnificent Bahia Principe Luxury Acumal Resort. It's located along the stunning Riviera Maya coastline. This is an all-inclusive resort that offers an unforgettable blend of relaxation and excitement. As soon as you arrive to the front entrance of the hotel, you know you're in for a treat, especially when you get a look at the lobby. It's a beautiful open-air lobby, and you're greeted right away with champagne as you begin the check-in process. Once you enter the lobby, on your right will be the check-in counters. This is where you get your wristbands and check into your room. Just beyond that, you'll see several desks lined up against the wall. This is where you will book your a la carte dinner reservations and arrange for excursions. I highly recommend booking your a la carte reservations immediately after check-in. Off the lobby also features a store where you can pick up a lot of merchandise that you may have forgotten. Due to the size of the resort, most of the transportation you're going to use is by golf cart. These shuttles run from each location every 10 to 15 minutes. It's not just the luxurious amenities that make this resort special. The Akamal is surrounded by a natural wonderland. The resort is built in harmony with its environment and allows guests to truly connect with nature. Akamal has a wide range of suites to choose from. However, I will let you know they're currently doing renovations on the hotel rooms. The room we were in was one of their pre-renovation rooms, so this has not been renovated yet. Even though they're not renovated, they're still nice rooms, and you have everything that you need. And I will say the air conditioning in the room is phenomenal. As you can see on the door on the right, they do offer connecting rooms if that is necessary for your trip. I will say that most rooms have a jungle view. They do offer rooms with oceanside views, but those are few and far in between. We had a 12 year old child sleeping in our room, so they turned the couch into a twin bed. At this hotel, adults are considered anyone over the age of 13. The rooms have a free mini bar, coffee maker. The rooms are fine. I would probably prefer a walk-in shower over a tub, but everything worked fine for us. I will say that the redecorated rooms are a far step above what they currently are. Here's a sneak preview of what the rooms will look like, and you can see that they're much more modern than the existing rooms. These rooms are definitely a lot nicer, but I don't know that I would necessarily wait if you're looking to take a vacation anytime soon. I understand that even some of the rooms will be swim-up suites. Now that we've taken a look at the rooms, let's take a look at the swimming pools. This is a view of the main pool right off the lobby. It's kind of hard to visualize from this angle. The pool is so big, it's really hard to get a good video of it, so I thought I'd show you a satellite view of the pool right off the lobby. The second largest pool is located right off the Dolce Vita restaurant. This pool is usually not as crowded since there's not a swim up bar. You have to walk a little bit to get to the closest bar, so that's probably why this one is not as crowded. The third pool is for adults only. This is where you have the infinity edge. They're also known to do foam parties here. There was one more pool located between Villas 73 all the way through 78, and this is sort of a soaking pool, hot tub pool from what I can tell. Now for one of the main reasons you come to a hotel like this, it's the beach, at least in this area. You can snorkel right on the beach and see fish. Just like most resorts in Mexico, sargassum seaweed is an issue, but they clean it every single day. All in all, you'll enjoy the beach. One of the best parts of going to Acamal is the restaurants, specifically the a la carte restaurants. One of the reasons to choose the Akamal Resort over all the other Bahia Principe properties is that it's the only resort that allows you a la carte dining every night of the week. It is also the only resort that allows you to eat at all four of the Bahia Principe resorts on location. It is for that reason alone, I highly recommend you stay at the Akamal. If you're looking for a buffet with no kids, the Los Corrales would be the place for you. It's right next to the Xfinity pool for adults only. If you're looking to eat or drink 24 hours a day, the snack buffet is the place for you. This is actually a fairly good buffet and they have drinks, they've got a bar, they've got everything you possibly need. We had mid afternoon snacks, late night snacks here. It's, it was great. Now, hands down, my favorite restaurant was Don Pablo's Steakhouse. It had everything going for it, from presentation, to the food, to the ambiance, to the service, 
Everything was fantastic. And best of all, it is the most air conditioned place in the entire resort complex. More about the air conditioning later in the video. Much of Don Pablo was about presentation. Here, he's preparing a dessert table side. It was pretty amazing to watch, if I do say so. Our server was amazing. Our table wasn't the only one getting royal treatment. I'm not sure what this drink was, but it was some sort of coffee drink that people next to us ordered. Anything with flames, I love. Our second favorite restaurant was La Gran Tortuga, and that was at the Tulum Resort. This was a traditional Brazilian steakhouse. They keep the meat coming until you tell them to stop. The salad bar was pretty amazing with an amazing selection of seafood. Now, if you're a gourmet foodie, the Alux restaurant might be the place for you. This is located in the luxury Sian Khan Resort. This is actually a picture of the lobby of the Sian Khan. I had a difficult time finding the restaurant, and so we were kind of worried about getting there on time, so I kind of forgot to take video. We didn't forget, however, to take pictures of the food. Now this is your welcome drink when you first arrive. And these are some of the appetizers that you got as well prior to the main meal. The food was good, not quite as good as Don Pablo, but the experience was nice, the service was nice, and it was an all enclosed glass building. It was definitely a little warmer than I would prefer. Due to the gourmet nature of the food, you might wanna take a stop at the buffet when you're done. On this trip, it happened to be my birthday. And so my wife alerted the hotel, it was my birthday, so they put this nice banner on the door and they left a nice little bag of chocolates for us. All free, compliments of the hotel. One of the other reasons you come to a resort like this is for the entertainment and the bars. Right outside the lobby is an entertainment program so you can see all the different entertainment options throughout the week. Right off the lobby is the Akumal Sports Bar. It's not super crowded during the day, but it definitely picks up at night. We've got a nice selection of foosball tables, pool tables, and video games as well. When night hits, the action changes. There's a lot of activity and entertainment going on at the same time. This particular night featured karaoke. Just across the way from the sports bar is the Akamal Theater. It's an extremely spacious venue and you'll see lots of entertainment occur here. I highly recommend getting to the shows maybe 30, 45 minutes before the shows start just to get a good seat. We saw several great shows while staying at Akamal. The first was City of Rock, which you can see here. The production value was great, the dancers were great, Singers were fantastic. Nothing to complain about with this show. Another cool event they had, which was great, was the Silent Disco. For those of you that have never heard of a Silent Disco, there's three DJs at the front of the room. Each DJ is playing a different type of music, and you can see what type of music each person is listening to based on the color on their headphones. 
The funny part, though, is if you're an observer and don't have headphones on, as everybody's dancing around, singing, but you hear no music. It's definitely a sight to see, and it's pretty funny because most people are listening to completely different music and doing different dance moves. Another night, they had a magic show in the theater, and my daughter was lucky enough to be picked to assist the magician. There's entertainment going on outside as well, at all the different resorts. This is actually kids playing Dance Dance Revolution at the Tulum Resort. There are also some shows that are an extra fee. This is called Origin, which is at the Tulum Resort. Although you can't really tell here, it's very similar to a Cirque du Soleil or some type of show like that. It was definitely worth it, but we had a hard time staying awake because we were so tired from the activities during the day. Earlier in the video, I mentioned that you could get close to nature, and this is part of nature. There's iguanas all over the hotel. The other type of animal you may see at the hotel is a raccoon. This particular little guy was at the 24-hour buffet. His cousin was there too. These are called kuwadis. They strongly suggest not to feed these animals because that's what keeps them coming back. So try to resist these cute little eyes and don't feed the animals. It makes them reliant on humans and they can't survive in the wild, even though they are so cute. As I mentioned, there's four completely different resorts within this complex. This is the lobby of the Koba Resort. Very similar in structure to Akamal, but they all have a little bit different flavor. Koba also had sort of a separate lobby bar area as well. Overall, we had a wonderful time at the resort. We enjoyed our meals, we enjoyed the beach, we enjoyed the pools. I really only have one complaint. That complaint is about the air conditioning at the restaurants and the theaters. It was almost non-existent. Don Pablo was the only place that we really felt cool. It wasn't enough to make our trip miserable, we had a great time, but it certainly made it uncomfortable in many of the locations. Overall, I still recommend the resort, but I hope they do something to fix the air conditioning. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to our channel and click the like button on the video. I appreciate you taking the time to watch. Be sure to watch some of our other videos of some of the other Mexican resorts we've been to, as well as our travels across the world.